All right, so in this video, I just wanna talk through, I think four or five new extracts that I've uh, just added to HyperionHerbs.com in the last few weeks or a month or something over that period of time. The first being the new 20 to one He Shao Wu extract. So the old extract was a 16 to one hot water extract of He Shao Wu. The new one is a 20 to one dual extract of He Shao Wu. So it is stronger and more potent for basically the same price, which is kind of a good thing. And that's gonna be a trend across all the products. <laughs> Behind the scenes, I just made everything better, stronger, more potent, uh, raised the quality, and for the vast majority of them, kept the price exactly the same, which is kind of crazy considering my prices have been the same since 2010 when I launched for the pretty much all the products. So I'm talking about a decade of inflation, decade of my back end just continually getting more expensive. But me keeping my prices pretty much the same, which I'm gonna try to do as long as I can, but with the tariffs and the trade war and all these other things, I eventually may have to raise things a bit, but we'll see. But anyways, so that's the first one, a 20 to one He Sha Wu extract. The second one, or the second category, I guess, would be all the mushrooms. So we got reishi, cordyceps, chaga, and lion's mane are now all dual extracts. They've all been extracted with hot water and ethanol. And so starting with the reishi, this is of course made from fruiting bodies, which are grown on hard, hardwood and grown organically. They're grown up in the mountains in these little kind of like tent situations where they can grow, grow through their full natural life cycle and then be harvested when they're actually mature and which they, when they have actually gone to spore. So within the reishi, there's no mycelium, there's no oats or rice or corn or any growth medium. And I just mentioned this because quite a lot of products are made for mycelium. And for some products that can be okay, depending on how it's grown, because for instance, certain chemicals will come out in the mycelium versus the fruiting body and vice versa. But the problem is that mycelium typically can only consume about 50% of its growth medium. So what a lot of companies do is they grow mycelium on brown rice. Then basically take that, grind it up, and then what you get is a product that is very tasty, of course, but it's 50% brown rice, 50% mycelium, 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 whatever. <laughs> so basically, it's a very chemically impotent product and it's just 50% rice, but it's tasty. So you can eat a lot of it, put it in stuff. It's very easy to do. And for the company, it's very cheap. So they can have large margins on it. And typically the consumer doesn't know the difference. Uh, so that's important to understand that none of the products are that. We do use mycelium in the lion's mane, but it's grown uh, liquid fermentation and is allowed to grow for, I think, 60 to 90 days. I can't remember. It's a certain time that it actually has to grow to produce the maximum amount of a certain constituent. So reishi, fruiting body extract, uh, dual extracted. It's very good. <laughs> Chaga is also a dual extract, but it's only made from wild fruiting bodies. Actually, the Chaga is not called a fruiting body. It's called a scler sclerotium because of the type of organism that it is, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll call it the fruiting body because that's basically what it is for everyone interested, it's the fruiting body. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. It's wild harvested from Siberia on birch trees because that's only what it grows on and that's the best region for it to come from. It's now also dual extracted and it's the same price. So next one is cordyceps, which one is grown via liquid fermentation. It's also a dual extract. So it is the mycelium, but it is, the thing is, is the cordyceps, it's a little bit of a, um, that one's a little bit of a, of a fuzzy, it's the mycelium versus the fruiting body. Cause like, for example, if you actually get the wild caterpillar, the actual wild stuff, which I do have a whole jar of, it's just one thing. So like, the fungus lands on the mushroom, consumes its whole body, and then shoots the, quote, fruiting body out of the head of the caterpillar. 
So when you're getting it, it is the fruiting body, but it's also kind of the mycelium because it's the whole thing. So fruiting, so cordyceps is kind of like a gray area, but the benefit of all this is that it actually doesn't matter in the slightest, actually. <laughs> like you don't have to know it. You just have to know that I'm over a decade in the game and I'm only interested in the highest quality, most potent products. And that's what I'm selling. And that's what I have been selling for the last decade. So you don't necessarily have to concern yourself with all the minutia and technical details, which I'll, to be totally honest with you, the vast majority of my clients don't care about. It's only occasionally, usually it's a dude uh, wants to nerd out about micro little details about various different little things and which is fine to do, I guess, but it's not really where my head is at at this moment in my life. Um, but anyways, that's the cordyceps. It's a dual extract. It's excellent. It's delicious, very effective, very potent. And then lion's mane. So this one may or may not be on the website as of yet, but the previous lion's mane that I had was a eight to one hot water extract. Whereas the new one is a 50% mycelium, 50% fruiting body, dual extract. Because I wanted to get a high amount of both of the famous nerve growth factor type chemicals, herinocenes and or irinocenes and herosinones, something like that. I think that's how you pronounce it. I obviously didn't do <laughs> all my research before this video, but it's all on the website so you can read it. And I'm not sure everyone has agreed on the correct pronunciation of those terms anyways. But basically one of those is found a lot in the fruiting body and one is found a lot in the mycelium. So to get the best benefit, we took both, allowed both to reach maturity, extracted them, dual extract, put together, boom. So now it is a very concentrated, very potent extract, which will have a very high amount, probably I think higher than anyone else I've seen online uh, of these various nerve growth factor and brain nerve growth factor and the whole cognitive nervous system type benefits, which will appease a lot of people. I'm just being totally honest. Uh, and a lot of people genuinely will not care <laughs> because certain people will be like, oh, well, you don't get any of the cognitive benefits unless it's basically what I just said, the type of new product that I have, but they're ignoring all the studies where people were just using aqueous extracts of fruiting bodies and people were reporting all the cognitive benefits. So in some ways people were contradicting themselves. Um, it's also in some ways why I sort of didn't really jump on the dual extract bandwagon because a lot of people were like, oh, you don't get all the constituents and you only get this from this and you only get this from that which is true and kind of not true. It becomes, it comes down to percentages and amounts and ratios. Um, and it depends on if you want to take like a techno pharmaceutical route, or if you want to just keep it a little more old school and like whole herb type situation. Um, because you know, traditional medical or traditional herbal systems have never functioned on biochemistry. They've never functioned on active constituents and they've somehow stuck around and somehow have worked. Like, I mean, the most potent herbal pills that I've ever tried are not even extracts. They're basically just like pellets of herbs made by people who know what they're doing. They're not extracts, they're complicated formulas, and they have no discernible active constituents, but they de completely destroy every other formula for me in terms of potency. So that's my personal point of view. Uh, so. Personally, I can oftentimes be very dismissive of these types of perspectives, but from a business standpoint, kind of just cater to the demographic a little bit and also just save myself having to explain all the time to people who are like, I read dual extracts are the best. You don't sell dual extracts, so your company sucks. I'm like, well, I've been doing this for over a decade, my friend, and you just read this article last week and now you're an expert on <laughs> on herbalism and mushrooms because you listened to a Paul Stamets lecture and you read a blog post. Now all of a sudden you're schooling me on what I've been doing for 15 years. Like, thank you. Wow. Free advice. Wow. Amazing. Um, but I actually totally understand it because I've been that person <laughs> in many instances. I totally understand it. Um, and also, you know, appreciate people's passion and enthusiasm for the industry and for the products and for the herbs because they are quite, you know, nice and amazing and can do great things for people. So a bit of a diversion, uh, but just throwing in a bit of my personal opinion because yeah, to be totally honest within 10, 15 years of being in this business, the vast majority of people do not care.
They just want a good product that's going to produce a result. They're not interested in spending six hours obsessing over the minutiae. But 2% of people do want to do that. So kind of just covering all bases. Um, so yeah, those are five products. He Sha Wu or He Sha Wu, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Everyone's so confused. It's, people will call me and be like, yeah, I'm, I want to, I'm curious about this, uh, this herb, this, um, they're like pausings. They're like, <laughs> they don't know how to say it. Like he shall, he shoo, he shall, wong. That, I don't know how to pronounce it. You know that herb I'm talking about. I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's got an annoying name that people are confused by. Uh, which I guess is maybe why they just went with faux tea instead of the Chinese name. So, he shao wu, reishi, cordyceps, chaga, lion's mane. Also, I have added black ginger and black maca, which are also both concentrated dual extracts. Uh, the maca is, of course, coming from high elevation black maca roots grown in the Andes up in Peru. And the ginger is grown in Thailand, which is also the black version of ginger, which is its own sort of species and subset. So those are all new extracts that I've added within the most the last month or so, and uh, all quite potent, very effective, and excellent price as well. Especially for the quality, I should be charging a lot more. Um, but you know, when I first started the company, the whole the whole ethos was actually making it accessible in a format that people could actually take the herbs to actually get the benefits. Because <laughs> if you just go to the store, you buy a little bottle of capsules, and it's like. I don't know, $12, and even you're spending $12, you're like, oh my god, I don't know, spending $12 on herbs, like, I don't know if herbs really work, I don't know if it's really going to do anything, eh, it's $12, eh. that's like, kind of how people used to be back when I was first getting into it, now people are a little bit more hip, a little bit more educated, um, so I would see that and be like, they're never going to get any benefit, because that's a weak product, it's just ground up, they're like, oh, it's astragalus, I'm like, well, it's just ground up, low-grade astragalus roots in a capsule, you're going to take you're going to take 500 to 1,000 milligrams of ground-up astragalus root for a few days and be like, oh, I didn't notice anything, so herbalism sucks and, like, these products don't work. No. So my thing was, like, let's get a really potent, high-quality form of this product in a format that makes it accessible for people to actually use it and consume it, which is why it's packaged the way it is and why the whole business is what it is. Uh, and I was... I think the first person to really do that back in 2009... Uh, and that was the whole thing. That was why I wanted to do it because I was an enthusiast. That's how I looked at it. And that's why I wanted to create the company and do the same thing. So the same ethos is kind of carrying over uh, still with even all the new products that I'm rolling out because I'm going to have a whole new product line coming this year. And it's a whole different genre, whole different category. It's the same thing. Insanely high quality, really good price and allows people to just leapfrog uh, the three to four years and I don't know, however many thousands of dollars that I spent, even with agarwood, sandalwood, various incense, various oils, tens of thousands of dollars that I spent trying things and testing things and so many hours of research. People just jump in at an insane price point and get really high quality stuff. <laughs> um, so that's that'll be a topic for another video in the future. But anyways, just wanted to quickly go through the new products, talk a little bit about them. And I guess also rant a little bit for my own personal benefit. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.